I have got these yummy scraps to give to my chickens. It's kale, it's cucumber, squash. There's a cracker in here. It's a rice cracker. Super yummy stuff. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. They are happy chickens. These are happy chickens. <laughs> One of the questions I get the most is, you know, first of all, should I feed my chickens kitchen scraps? And the other question I get is, what kind of scraps should I feed my chickens and have them be healthy? And you know, there are some people that don't agree with me about this. They really don't think chickens should be eating kitchen scraps, but I wanna make a case for it. And I wanna show you how it can actually be healthy for both you and your chickens. So I think all of us are aware that the price of chicken feed, especially in the last couple of years, has absolutely skyrocketed. And I, I think it's really unfortunate, especially because there was a while there that, you know, a lot of people were feeling kind of insecure about, you know, the food industry and everything. And, you know, they really wanted to get into chicken keeping, but, you know, the price of feed was just so high that they were feeling like, I don't know if I can do this. There are people now that have chickens that feel like, how am I gonna continue doing this with the price of feed being so high? And that's just the reality of what's going on right now. I feel very strongly that chicken keeping should be accessible to everybody, regardless of what your financial situation is. Throughout the millennia, human beings have kept chickens. We've had this beautiful, symbiotic relationship with them. It was something that was very sustainable. Chickens traditionally have eaten what human beings have wasted. And it was a way actually for people to have good protein, good nutrition, and it didn't matter if they didn't have a lot of money because it was easy and cheap to keep chickens. Unfortunately, in our modern world, we've moved into the situation where this practice that we have been participating in for many, many years as human beings, it has turned into something that was very sustainable to something that actually uses resources. And I think that that is very unfortunate. I really wanna bring chicken keeping back into its original sustainable you know, way of being, especially because the way things are right now, we're so disconnected from nature. And chicken keeping for a lot of people is a way that they can keep that connection and still also participate in the modern world. It's not like you have to, you know, live off grid to have chickens. You can be in the city and have this little piece of nature that belongs to you and that you can participate in. And I think that that is so important, not just for my generation, but for my kids and for their kids and for all future generations. But there is something that I need to acknowledge, especially when I'm thinking about things in terms of our modern world. And that is that the chickens that we have today, you know, the layer hens that we buy from the hatchery, they have different nutritional needs than chickens from even like a hundred years ago. Really the chickens we have right now that most people have, they lay a lot of eggs. And, and that is not something natural. Chickens didn't always lay this number of eggs, like hundreds of of eggs a year, but we've bred them so that they really lay a lot of eggs to fulfill this need that human beings have. But because of that breeding and because of that, you know, um, shift in their evolution, laying hens especially have very high nutritional needs. And I love my chickens. I want them to be super healthy. It's important for me to acknowledge and to let you know that I do think that in order for your laying hens specifically to get the proper nutrition that they need, really the bulk of what they eat should be their layer feed. But I'm going to introduce something to you today and I have talked about it in my course. I talk about it in my book that is coming out in February. So stay tuned because I'll definitely be talking about that more in upcoming videos. But there is something that I created to kind of make it easy for people to feed their chickens in a way that feels very natural, that is very healthy for them, and is also moving towards more sustainability. And 
this thing that I created is called the Chickenlandia Chicken Food Pyramid. So before I get started on this, I do want to say that if what you can do is just feed your chickens kitchen scraps and let them free range when you can, you know, give them access to pasture, um, give them access to some sprouts and stuff like that. If that is what you can do and you cannot afford to give your chickens chicken feed that is specifically for them, I'm gonna tell you right now that that's okay. Like if you look at the big picture and you look at all the chickens that are living in factory farms and how detrimental that is, not only to the chickens, but to us as human beings, I think that it is okay to have flocks that all they eat is kitchen scraps. Now it is possible that there could be some nutritional deficiencies in those cases, but I really feel like the quality of those chickens' lives is gonna be so much better and the quality of the humans' lives that are participating in that are gonna be so much better that I'm just gonna say it's okay. I'm not gonna make this rule where if you don't follow the Chickenlandia chicken food pyramid, then you're doing it wrong. I'm not gonna do that, especially right now when we need chicken keeping so bad. So here is what the Chickenlandia chicken food pyramid looks like. You will see on the bottom tier, we have layer feed or whatever feed that is appropriate for your chicken's stage of life. And you want the majority of your chicken's diet to consist of this feed. You know, the reason for that, as I stated before, is that it is a nutritionally complete feed for them and they're just gonna get the right vitamins and minerals and other nutrients that will help them to lay good, strong eggs. Because in a, in a laying hen, really their reproductive needs are so important. That's where a lot of health problems can happen. So you want them to be laying strong eggs to keep that reproductive system going smoothly. The second tier on the Chickenlandia chicken food pyramid <laughs> is healthy kitchen scraps. So I want you to think low sugar fruits. I want you to think what I just gave my chickens right now, some healthy vegetables, some greens, some squash, some green beans. And they are great for your chickens, especially right now because it's cold and my chickens don't get, a, they're not getting a lot of like fresh greens right now from their natural environment. The winter time is a wonderful time to make sure that you're getting those greens into your chicken's diet. Something that is very important before we move on, do not leave kitchen scraps out overnight, okay? Don't leave a buffet out for the rats, okay? <laughs> because not good. We don't want rats, we don't want rodents in our chicken yard. I almost fell backwards. <laughs> okay, get it together. Okay, the very top tier is healthy treats. And this is the area where you will think like grubs, you'll think uh, mealworms, maybe some scrambled eggs would go into this tier, um, high sugar fruits would go into this tier, whatever you would think of that is like a treat for your chickens. And also you can put some healthy proteins and you know other healthy proteins in that tier. It is starting to snow. <laughs> Curses foiled again. <laughs> so like I said, you know, I want this to feel natural to you. When you come out to your chicken yard with your, you know, plate of scraps or whatever, and you're throwing them out to your chickens, I don't want you to be thinking about, you know, measurements and stuff. Of, oh, I can only give them this amount. And I just want you to think about it in really broad terms and really simple terms because chicken keeping has always been simple. It has always been easy. It has been part of our nature. And that's what I want you to use this time for to connect with nature. It's so important for us right now. And you know, one thing I wanna mention is, you know, chicken feed, most chicken feed is pelleted feed. It is processed feed. It is heated up and it, you know, when it gets heated up, it loses some of its nutrients. And then that nutrients needed to be, it needs to be added back in, in, the, in this process, okay? It makes sense that it would be healthier for your chickens to get some of their nutrients from a fresh source like your kitchen scraps. So when people say to me, no, you know, chickens only should be eating their pelleted feed. There's something inside me that says, you know, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel correct. 
And I will listen to that. And I just think it is healthier for your chickens to have some of that fresh food. But I guess it's not as healthy for the big feed companies, you know, <laughs> when we're not buying as much feed. Oh, I'm getting so scandalous. You know, if you want to watch another scandalous video with a lot of good information, <laughs> I think uh, you'll enjoy this one. You should click right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education and entertainment. And I know you're going to love it. Did you guys like that? It's snowing and I am going inside. <laughs>